Hey guys, it's YesFan001 here. Welcome you to part one of my next Let's Play. So, I am actually really excited to get started with this. Actually, it's not that. It's more the fact that I finally finished that piece of shit Easter Egg Tower of Babel in Black Ops 2. And basically means I have the Platinum. I got one more zombie stroke I gotta get done, so I was saving that one for last. I'll get that one done when I get a chance. Anyway, we are starting up a new Let's Play today. Today's game is Battleship, a PS3 game. Uh, this game is very loosely based off of a movie that was very loosely based off the board game. So if that tells you anything, have low expectations going in, even though I personally didn't think this game was that bad when I did the Platinum Trophy for it uh, a few months ago. I actually did not think this game was all that bad. I thought it was a decent game. So, let's see. I gotta figure out exactly how to switch. Uh, no... Okay, guys, I am an idiot. I am now back. I can't believe I hit continue game by accident. Okay, instead, we got to do mission select because I don't think this is going to let me start a new game for some reason. So, uh, Battleship is, like I said, loosely based off of the movie and, at that extent, the board game, even less. Uh, the game consists of only seven missions. I don't know why my last uh, peg didn't save in the final mission. That's really weird. So... We are going to be playing through all seven missions. Uh, this is not like a 100% run because there's really nothing with that. Uh, we're going to be playing on Captain Hard Mode, so we're going to be doing that. We are not going to be playing on Admiral because Admiral does have a few trickier parts, but nothing too bad. So what is going on here? I guess I'll shut up because it's a cutscene. Hopefully this doesn't get me copyrighted or something or I'm going to be pissed. Okay, so I gotta say, the aliens from this movie and this game and all are really, really stupid with their, like, tactics and stuff. I mean, they have clearly very advanced technology, yet you see their weakness during the movie. I'm not gonna spoil it in case you actually care and want to see it. And there are no subtitles on this game, I don't believe. Yep, I didn't think so. That's annoying. Either that or they're on automatically. Work, no, I guess they are not on automatically because they aren't in the game. Anyway, so yeah, it's not a very good game as you can probably already tell from the... from how it looks, but this is one of those games, like I said, that's sort of in that so bad that it's good category. It's an okay game and it was actually relatively fun to platinum. It was a pretty easy yeah, platinum as well, the... Though. The hardest part of it is beating it on the highest difficulty, which still isn't too bad. And this is the rim of the Pacific exercise, rim pack. If you embarrass me today, I'll have your ass. Command says some I love how he said Pacific rim. Oh. Direct the Chesapeake to locate and disable. I love how he says uh, Pacific Rim there, because I think they've talked about they want to do like a crossover between this and Pacific Rim, which makes no sense whatsoever. Then again, they're probably trying to cross that over into the Godzilla, uh, King Kong universe. So, this is the cool thing about this game, is that it mixes between ground combat as well as ship-to-ship -ship combat. So what you have to do is you move your ship by hitting X on it, and you move it to any other square within... Well, in this case, you can't you can't really move it any further. You have to put it right here, so we'll just do that. Uh, you can also switch ships later on when we get more ships available. You can use wild cards. We'll get more into that later. You have details of the ship, so you see a little bit about it. This one has a 3-inch gun, uh, a missile launcher, and a torpedo launcher. So let's get back to the action. The first few minutes are going to be kind of slow. Good. Move now get out of the range. Then the You're the best EOD tech I've got, and I need you to ground. dispose of all abandoned ordnance in the area. Get to work. All right then. Love how you pick today of all days, right when the aliens are coming, because logic. 
So you hit L3 to sprint, as with many FPS games. Because this is an FPS, so... I love how that's like the most generic looking bomb ever. Uh, anyway. So it looks like we got a bomb here. Let's not screw up the disarmament or we would be in a lot of trouble. Looks almost more like a torpedo than a standard bomb, but it's probably old, so I guess that's probably why older bomb design to it. Anyway, now we're gonna learn how to jump with X. There's obviously no double jump because this is a realistic game. And now we can crouch. There is no prone feature. You can crouch though. And we are going to disarm another bomb. Quite simple so far. No combat yet, unfortunately. Oh, and you often can't walk down like hills and stuff, which is really annoying. It makes things take longer. Uh, the only other, the only really 100%ing to this game, if that was going to be like a part of this Let's Play, would be completing it on the highest difficulty while finding all collectibles. There's four collectible, like, battleship, the board game pegs that you can find. And there, yeah, there's four in each level of the seven levels, so there's 28 total. It's, uh, you can just follow a guide for that because for some reason they, I couldn't like start just a brand new game on like a new file or anything, which is really weird and kind of annoying actually. I can probably show you where the last one is though, when we uh, get to the final mission, because I don't know why it didn't save. I guess I must have exited out right after I got it. So we got a bomb that went off there. It's going to be really annoying without subtitles. Like, I, I could have sworn there were subtitles in this, but... Yeah, there's not, so that's really weird. I don't know why. Oh, well. That's uh, another reason for this to not be that solid of a game. Okay, let's enter battle command mode again. We are going to command our battleship. And it's going to go down here. So that's going to take it a moment to get over to. That's making a stop sign octagon thingy. I know my shapes. I am so proud. Anyway... Gonna go right on through there. Okay, running on eight minutes. Just sort of checking that because this is kind of a longer... It's kind of a pointless tutorial section because, I mean, it's a standard first-person shooter with pretty much all the controls and stuff. The only really different feature is the whole uh, battleship command thing. Uh-oh. I think we just got anal probed. Or the whole Earth got anal probed. And that helicopter seems to have been anal probed as well. Oh my god, what was your first clue? Like the fact that every single soldier out here didn't see the giant burst of light come down on the planet and probe it. And the helicopter going down. I guess the helicopter going down could be a little more normal because that can happen sometimes. They have mechanical failures, but whatever. Let's just go on. Can I please have a gun now? Because I'm completely unarmed. And I would like one of the, like, five guns that are actually in this game, please. That would be uh, very much appreciated. Okay, so in the upper right corner, that means an enemy ship has been spotted. Not an actual enemy, just an enemy uh, ocean ship. And actually... Oh. And that looks relatively like how they were in the movie, I think. Okay, so the only real difference between difficulties is that enemies take longer to kill you or no yeah enemies take more or less take more or less time to kill you i don't know why i'm not able to talk today so yeah on the higher difficulties enemies will kill you faster and you'll take a couple more hits to kill them that is the only difference uh supplies and stuff are the same the number of enemies does not change fortunately oh that's not a supply kit all right, we got a rescue. Oh, okay, we can pick up a new weapon here. This is the second of like six weapons in this game. Uh, this is the standard alien gun. No wonder they are unable to conquer the planet because this is their only weapon. This is one of their two weapons. It's basically a machine gun, but it overheats really, really easily and you have to reload to make it overheat, to make it unoverheat, and it's kind of annoying. It's not a very good gun, we'll say that right now. So it's not a gun that you're probably gonna be using that much. You're far better off using the human weapons or the other alien weapon that we'll be getting a little bit later on. Because the aliens do have another weapon later on that's pretty powerful, actually. It's basically a railgun. And switch weapons with triangle, like most FPSs. Shouldn't probably have to say that, because... They came out of nowhere and just overran us. So yeah, we'll switch out our crawls, because you can't actually pick up more ammo for them. You just have to switch, which it makes no sense whatsoever. 
I mean, again, so that means each alien came into battle with just 300 rounds of ammunition. So again, no wonder they are unable to take over the planet because they can't even bring in extra ammunition or reload their weapons. So technically, wouldn't it be that if they just stood here firing at me for like an hour they or less than like a minute, they would probably run out of ammo or their weapons would overheat or something? You would think so. That would be logical, though, and obviously this game isn't too concerned with that. But again, it's really, it's not that bad of a game for a movie tie-in. And like I said, I actually had fun platinuming this one. Just, again, it's a game that's so bad it can be fun to play. The controls work fine, but the... Uh, the, like, turn sensitivity, the graphics are all pretty bad. Oh, wait, we got grenades with R2. That's awesome. Ooh, I'll be taking that. Much rather have the carbine. And if I remember correctly, can you not even... No, you can. Okay, for a second I thought you couldn't have the pistol. and You had to have the pistol as a secondary. This isn't kill zone, though. Twelve o'clock. Okay, so this is our third weapon, the assault rifle. So this is just your basic M4 carbine. Yeah, the aim is really shaky. That's the other sort of thing I was talking about. And we also have grenades if we care to use them. God, the aim sensitivity is so weird at times in this one. The aliens aren't particularly smart either with their AI, so that's what kind of makes the higher difficulties not too, too difficult. Uh, he's not dead yet. I thought he was. And right as I say that, I'm about to get murderized. so... Uh, can I not get stuck in place here, please? Thank you. I don't know. Okay, I got stuck in place there. I have no idea what happened. Right as I'm criticizing the AI, I just got stuck in place. So I don't know what that was, but like you guys saw that. I basically got stuck in place there. There was nothing I could do about that. Oh, how I love glitches in video games and long-ass loading screens and not too many checkpoints. That's another thing about this game. It'll get more interesting later on when we see uh, like more ship-to-ship -ship combat and stuff. So, and Yeah, that's the other problem. Like I said, checkpoints are not the most common thing in the world in this game, which is really, really annoying. Given that 9 out of 10 times if you die, it's going to be something really stupid that happened. Or it'll be the thug enemies later on. Those are sort of a different story altogether. We'll get more into that later because they don't appear until I think the third mission. As you can see, I probably know a little too much about such a simple or er, basic game from platinuming it once. I mean, obviously I only platinum once. I'm not going to go through all that again. I don't really have the time for that. I got more important stuff I want to do with my life. Behind us. And I'll just go, go ahead and take the carbine instead of the Bad pistol. Boys. That probably makes more sense, honestly. And I don't know if he can... Now he probably can. Get that grenade out. And it looks like it killed something. Alright, let's kill a few more enemies. And hopefully be a little more careful. Uh... Oh, that's what killed me last time. It was that douchebag. Oh, I, I'm switching over to a weapon that doesn't overheat. I know it has to reload, but at least it doesn't have to overheat. And un-overheat. You have a bit of an aim assist in this, but not much of one, so don't be too reliant on that, obviously. Again, these aliens are all being taken out pretty easily. Their main difficulty is when they overwhelm you or... If you get killed by, like, a glitchiness in the game or something like that. Okay, so we killed all them. Uh, what's up next? What you guys want us to do next? More grenades I'll, or ammo. I'll take that. And grenades. Okay. Got the pistol there if I need it. I'm not going to take that, though. So we're going to activate this comms array. Checkpoint reached. Come in. Oh, thank God. You're the only ground troop I can raise. Be advised. Voice acting could be worse, honestly. John Quincy Adams are nearby, but their radar systems are down, and they're unable to determine their coordinates. You need to direct them. Reagan, out. Or else this would just be a generic alien invasion movie. Uh, but no, we got to make it into Battleship by having this in it. So now we can move other ships around. So now we have two ships we can move. Uh, we'll move the larger one over. I think he's a little bit better right now. We haven't even gotten any, like, wild cards and stuff yet, so there's not much more I can talk about with all that yet. Push forward! 
Our ships will be there to support if we need them. Push forward. Let's go, Marines. Push forward. Actually, no, this isn't even Marines. I think they're Navy in the movie, I think. I don't know. The movie's terrible. I've never been able to sit through the whole thing in one sitting, so I have no idea exactly what... I mean, I sort of know what happens, and they sort of set it up for a sequel, but I don't know it as well as I could. Uh-oh. We got an enemy dropping in. Oh, that's more than I thought. Uh, I thought there were going to be like two or three there. I'm going to cover. I hope I was not trying to hug you, sir. We can save that for later. All right, we got rid of him and another one. So let's try out the crawl because the crawl, the crawl basically has infinite ammo since uh, every enemy or most enemies will drop one. So you can really sort of uh, go pre-trigger happy with this one. All right, so now we have access to a support call. Paint the target for a couple seconds, and you get a support call. Pretty useful, actually. I'll use these throughout the game. All right. Let's move on. What have we got going on through here? And nothing much. Just in a big empty cave. Uh, your strikes will refill over time, so don't worry about, like, only having one or two per mission. They do completely refill over time, and he just got screwed. Ooh, we got an enemy ship over there. That could, that could be a uh, bad thing. Don't want him over there now, do we? Uh, whichever destroyer I moved into that position, would you please take care of him? Uh, whenever you go into this battle mode, it'll pause the combat around you, so you don't have to worry about dying in the middle of it. Okay, so any ships within this, like, dark blue area, the circles around them, uh, will be engaged by that ship, so, yeah. I wish we had some wild cards, but I don't even think we get them until the next mission, so it's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Hello there. Oh, bad aim. Come on. Well, you just die already. Seriously, you really need to get headshots a lot in this game, especially on the higher difficulties. Alright, I'm sure some aliens are going to spawn up here. Yes, they did. Come on, you're shooting at a stationary target here. I would think you wouldn't have that much trouble hitting me. Even on a lower difficulty. And I mean, this gun doesn't even have a sight on it. So again, the aliens are just like digging their own graves in this series. Like, these are some of the dumbest invading aliens like ever i mean these guys rival like the independence day oh we have intergalactic uh traveling technology but we can't even uh we get taken out by a 1990s computer virus because reasons i mean seriously come on now that was that was a bit of a i wouldn't say plot hole just maybe a something they could have thought about a little bit better but the original independence day is a pretty solid movie so i'm not going to complain i'm actually a fan of that one sequel sucked ass but that's a whole nother story all right so it looks like the ships are still having some combat out there and snuck up on me a bit there sir kill this one as well so yeah there are a few other enemy types so don't worry it's not all one type of enemy there's like three total types of enemies so there's a little bit of variety to all this so we're going to plant some C4. And charge is set. Let's run away before it blows up. Because they, they only give you five seconds to run away from like every target in this game. Which is maybe a little less than they could have. I don't know. You would think maybe you'd have a few more seconds. Alright. What do we got to do next? We have a dropship coming in. So, naturally, I am going to paint the area and let that take care of them. That's a uh, kill, I think. I don't know how many of them it took out, but I think it took out at least a few of them. Hopefully it did. Eh, it killed like... Oh, wow, it killed like all but one of them. Okay. All right, sweet. And someone's dying over here. Is it an alien? It is. Again, you guys could have picked so many other weapons for your intergalactic journey or interstellar. I don't know. Interstellar, intergalactic, different things, but whatever. Okay, so this is our first instance of a wild card. Uh, wild cards give your ships extra abilities. 
such as more damage or more health and armor and stuff like that they reset after every mission the yellow ones give you direct benefits and this such as fully healing or reviving one of your ships in this case this one gives us the ability to control any ship in our fleet you can have about 10 of these at once this basically gives you double attack damage for 20 seconds and lets you fully control your ship so look at what your controls are and use those to fire away until the ship goes down you get to use it for 20 seconds or until the enemy ship is destroyed and it is down very quickly awesome and I think that's actually going to be it for the first mission. I think there's just like a cutscene now and we'll be done. More later missions will be a bit more action-packed than that, so do not worry. Nice work, Mathis. No time to rest, though. This is just the beginning. These things have spread out all over the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I could have guessed that probably. It's an alien invasion. Hey, the bullets actually hit the water. Not exactly where you aim every time, though. And then at the end of every mission, you have to reach an extraction point because extra objective to pad the runtime by a few minutes. This is a pretty short game, and I'll be getting more into that next video. Let's go. Have we... Yep, that counted. Awesome. Cutscene! Mathis, we're sending you to Nihua. Before most of our systems went down, the USS Laredo, a fast attack submarine, was performing rim pack maneuvers nearby. Your main objective is to establish comms with her. We must rebuild our fleet. And be advised, ONI believes the aliens are building a jamming station to disrupt our con tech. Your first objective is to disable or destroy it. Proceed from there to the Salanoa Research Facility. The aliens seem to be repurposing our tech there for their own use. I should have more intel for you by the time you're on site. Lastly, satellite images indicate there is some sort of alien weather emitter there. ONI believes it's what the invaders are using to create domes over the islands. Inside these domes, we are all alone, unable to communicate with the outside world. You've got to bring it down. Reagan, out. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed part one. And if you didn't, don't worry, it's not that going to be that long of a let's play. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Next time, we will tackle the second mission of the game. So, see you guys then.